Bless you, my brother. Let's give them a round of applause. God bless you. And then we have got Sister Molly. Uh, my sister, if you can just raise your hand. Let's welcome our sister. God bless you. May the Lord richly bless you. Uh, sister Hope and the family, I don't believe you are visitors anymore, but may the Lord richly, richly bless you. Amen. And I want to say thank you all for your prayers and your support and your kindness. I traveled to Cape Town very well on last week, Thursday. And then I was at the funeral of Brother Joseph Latola, and uh, we continue to pray for the family. And uh, I was uh, ministering for Pastor Beckett on uh, Sunday, took two services for him, and then he brings greetings. He says, I must greet you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I want to say thank you to Brother Jethro for taking the meeting on Sunday, Amen. and I trust that it was uh, a blessing. And uh, the Lord willing, on next week Sunday, We'll have a visiting minister, Brother Isaac Mashangu, will be with us. So let us just keep the service in prayer. Let us just all come. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. It's not good to invite a minister and find that people are not around. Amen. So let us all be here next week Sunday and draw from the throne room of God. Amen. Brother Luke, if you can just increase my volume, praise God. Let us just bow our heads in a word of prayer. Father, we say thank you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We want to say thank you for this resurrection morning that we can come together like this as a band of your people to bathe in your presence. We want to say thank you. We want to welcome Brother Philip in our midst, Lord. May you make them feel welcome together in the family just to come and rally around your word. Sister Molly, in our gates, oh God, we want to welcome her. May she feel special. May she have something when she leaves this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Lord, for traveling Mrs. Beck and coming back from Cape Town. We realize, Lord, that this transport that are man-made, but, Lord, we are depending on thee. And, Father, you have taken me safely on the wings of an eagle. We come back to say thank you. Father, we pray for our precious Pastor Beckett back in Cape Town. Father God, he has lost a number of elders in the church. We say, may you comfort him and comfort the church. We again pray for the Latola family, Lord, if they've lost a father, a husband, uh, a grandfather, may you be with them, O oh God, and the church has lost a minister. May your hand of mercy and blessing be upon them at this time. We pray that you be with us, Father. Thank you, Lord, and bless our brother Jethro for taking the meeting last week, Father. We pray that you bless him and bless Sister Francina and bless the kids as well. We'd like to offer everything into your hands. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. If you have your Bibles with you, let's turn to the Word of God in the book of Revelation chapter 4. Revelation chapter 4, we read verse, verse 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Verse 1. Amen. We, we are still continuing on with going beyond Pentecostal period. And uh, today we have got something different. Praise God. Uh, if you don't have your Bible, there is the handwriting on the wall. Praise God. Amen. 
Revelation chapter 4, verse number 1, the Bible says, And after this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be here after. And our quote number one, the prophet of God says, The word that fell on the day of Pentecost will not work this day. That was for Pentecost. This is for the bride, going home of the bride. We got something different. The Amen. Pentecostal represented that again. We are in the bride age. And in the next quote, in the uh, message, the anointed ones in the end time, Brother Brigham says, the life keep advancing on. But remember, it's in another stage. It can't remain in that stage. We can't eat the carrier of some other age. We can't eat Pentecostal carrion, Methodist or Baptist. It's become a carrion. We have fresh food, the word of this hour. And for a subject this morning, I want to speak on migrating into the bright age. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Mighty God and eternal Heavenly Father, we have read what we believe to be a word. Lord, the prophet of God teaches us it takes any healthy man to turn the pages of the Bible but it takes the Holy Spirit himself to turn the pages of our hearts. Lord, may you speak through me and hear through your children that at the end of this service, the glory, the honor will come back to you. Lord, I have studied, I have prayed. Lord God Almighty, may you give me favor before your people at this time. May everything at the end of the service, the glory and the honor be given unto thee. Deliver the bound and set the captives free. In Jesus' name we pray and thank you. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Amen. Now, migrating into the bright age. Now, from the scripture that we have read, uh, the Bible says in Revelation 4, Brother Ezra, verse 1, it says, after this, I, I, I underlined that word after this, I looked and behold, a door was opened in heaven, and the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, come up hither and I will show thee things which must be here after. Now, if you look into the scripture or most of the scriptures in the book of Revelations, they start with the word end, except chapter 2. It starts with the word unto the church. But most of the chapters of the book of Revelation start with the word end, which is a conjunction between the past and the future, or a connection between two chapters. But Revelation chapter 4 starts with after this which means it's not a continuation but it is a new thing altogether amen. can the church say amen? amen now if you notice revelations 1 revelations 2 revelations 3 deals with the church ages yes. now it was in 1895 when john was on the isle of patmos seeing the mystery of the church and after the seven church ages john the apostle was taken a little bit higher is the name of the Lord. Amen. Sorry. Yeah, that one just switch it off. It's okay. Amen. Now, it was in 1895 when John was on the Isle of Patmos and seeing the mystery of the church. And after seven church ages, John the Apostle was taken up a little higher and he heard a voice that said, Come up hither and I will show you things to come. Now, let me declare to you quickly that you cannot come up here unless you are under the fivefold ministry Amen. in the right. Now, for you to come up here, you must stay under the fivefold ministry. Now, what happens is now God gives us a dispensational prophet in our day who fulfills Malachi 4. Yes. So Malachi 4 gets a message direct from the pillar of fire. Yes. He gets a message direct from the throne room of God. Yes. Now Malachi 4 will anoint Ephesians 4 11. Yes. Now Ephesians 4 11, it is the fivefold ministry. Yes. Now the fivefold ministry will take you to Revelation chapter 4 and you can come up higher. Yes. You cannot come up higher unless you come to church. And sit under a good fivefold ministry. Right. Is that right? That's you cannot stay home and say, I will listen to tapes. No, the very tape that you have says, Go and find yourself a church. Yes. Go and find yourself a pastor and Amen. stay there mm. and call it your home church. Mm. And for you to grow, you all need all the vitamins that comes out of the fivefold Amen. ministry. 
Glory to God. Yes. You cannot survive on one man. No, the days of one man is over. That's right. The days of one man is over. It ended with Brother Brenham. Yes. Now God has given in the church apostles, prophets, mm. pastors, evangelists for the edifying of the saints, yes. for the work of the ministry, yes. that the church can come to perfection. Amen. Now I want you to understand that after the seventh church age, there is a new age. And that age is called the bright age. And let me declare to you quickly that if you're a student of the message, you will notice that Brother Brenham uses the term bright age six distinctive times only in 1965 from the message it is the rising of the sun until december 12 which is the message leadership now notice the bride has been migrated out of the laudician church age into the bride age that's why brother Bradham in the message shalom he says you must recognize the changing beat of the symphony because otherwise you will be dancing to a church age beat whereas the bride has been migrated into a new dispensation now i want to say to you this morning move away from the evangelistic beat and come to the revelation of the son of man move away from the evangelistic beat and come to the open book ministry and as the bride we are not in laudicia that's true. Laodicea is miserable, mm. blind and naked. Yes. And on top of that, they don't know it. Yes. But we are a super race. Amen. We yes. are a super church. Amen. We are the invincible army. Amen. And the prophet of God says in quote number three, he says, here is the secret. Mm. The word is in the bride yes. and the mind of Christ to know what he wants done with the word. Yes. And she does it in his name. She, the bride, yes. has thus says yes. the Lord. Yes. Now, whatever Christ is, mm. that's what we are. Yes. What was in God yes. was put into yes. Christ. Yes. And what was in Christ was canosed into the bride. Okay. So we have the mind of Christ. Yes. We have thus says the Lord. Mm. In fact, we are the throne room of God. Amen. We are the mercy seat of God. Mm. What we bind here on earth yes. is bound in heaven. Amen. What we lose here on earth is loosed in heaven. Let me declare to you quickly, you have power over serpents. You have power over diseases. You have power over COVID-19. You have power over cancer. You have power over any unclean demon on the face of the earth. Let me tell you, brother, nothing shall harm you. Can we have church this morning? Nothing shall harm you. Amen. Have faith in God this morning. Let it lose. Let God have his way. And God will grant you your heart's desire this morning. Code number four, the prophet of God says, Brother Brenham is praying for a sister that is suffering from headaches and just came from the operation. Brother Brenham says to the sister, is that right? Come here, sister. This will confirm in the name of Jesus Christ, the son of God. Bless this woman who I bless. I said, whatever you bind on earth, I'll bind in heaven. Yes. Whatever you lose on earth, I'll lose in heaven. Amen. Almighty God, knowing that this evil spirit has left the woman through the fast, may it stay away from her now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May she go and be made well. Amen. God bless you, sister. Go rejoicing, being happy and being well. Amen. Let me say, I don't care what you've left at home this morning. I don't care what is your sickness this morning. I don't care what is your condition this morning. We have thus says the Lord. Whatever we bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Right now, we have got the power to fire anything that the devil brings our way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Who are we? We are the people of the eighth day. We are the bride of the Lord Jesus Christ. You might have come here down high said, but I want to say to you this morning, you're going to step out of that door rejoicing. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Let me say, if you are sick, you will be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you are bound, you will be set free. This is not Brother Brenham saying so, but I say so. Glory to God. Who I am, I'm a son of God. Hallelujah. What is it? Where are we at? This is the bright age. This is the fullness of time. This is adoption time. This is the rising of the sun. This is perfection time. This is uniting time. It's shalom to the bride. We are born higher. Beyond Pentecostal carrion. The bright age, brother Ezra, is the only age that is not named after a city. Because throughout the seven church ages, all the names were named after cities. Yes. Ephesus, Pergamos, 
T.A.T. Rasad is Philadelphia and Laodicea. But this one is named after the Queen of Heaven, which is the Bride Age. And let me declare to you quickly that the eighth day is not just a 24-hour day. But the eighth day has to do with the positional placing of the believer. Going back to eternity again. The eighth day is God's appointed time. Now, if you notice, throughout the church ages, Brother Luke, the message was always saying unto the angel. And Brother Brennan says, it's an earthly messenger. So it means in every church age, they were under human leadership. That's true. That's right. That's true. That's Is that right? That's true. But the messenger of the eighth day, it is not Brother Brennan. It is not Paul. Yes. It is not your favorite pastor or your favorite teacher or your favorite evangelist. No, 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 no. The messenger of the eighth day is Elohim himself. Is the ancient of days himself. And he descended on the 28th of February, 1963. And last week it was the 28th of February. It was a commemoration of what took place on Mount Sunset. So if you look at the pyramid, every church aid had its own messenger. But the eighth part of the pyramid, mm. it is the mighty angel coming down. Yes. Christ, our husband, coming down. And he had brought us out of the influence of human leadership. Mm. And we come down to himself. Mm. So the bride will, be, will not be manhandled. Mm. But we are in the holy of holies yes. with our husband. Amen. So the headstone has descended mm. according to Revelation 8 verse 1. Yes. Revelation 8 verse 1 says, And when he had opened yes. the seventh sea, yes. there was silence in heaven about yes. the space of half an hour. Amen. So heaven hushed when they saw the king of glory yes. leaving his throne. Mm. Is that right? Yes. If I am here and I'm sitting on the throne mm. and you are all singing for me yes. and you see me leaving the throne, yes. it causes all of you to be quiet. That's true. So when he left that dimension, all of them had to be quiet. Heaven had to be silent. Amen. Why heaven had to be silent? Brother Brennan says the activity was not in heaven. Amen. The activity was on earth. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So he left that dimension. Yes. He came down on earth. And he said to William Brennan, I will meet you at the constellation. Yes. Of seven angels. Yes. Glory yes. to God. Yes. I will tell you the mystery yes. beneath the water. Hallelujah. Beneath the white stone. Yes. The rock beneath the rock. Yes. Yes. Amen. Then he came down because heaven Amen. never needed redemption. Yes, sir. Heaven never needed resurrection. Yes, he had to come down. Yes. And let me declare to you quickly: we are not waiting for the coming. Yes, we are waiting for the going away. Yes. Why? Because he is here now. Yes. What is he doing? Fixing a bride, yes. preparing a bride, yes. not for the coming, but for the going of the bride. Yes. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you that the headstone. It's not just a piece of stone, but it's a person. Romans chapter 9, verse 33. As it is written, behold, I lay in Zion a stumbling stone, a rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Listen to the Bible. It does not say whosoever believeth on it, but it says whosoever believeth on him, showing that the stone is a person. And Brother Brennan comes in our day and say, my ministry is not to be a pastor. It's not to be a teacher or an evangelist. But my ministry is to declare that Christ himself is here. Yes. Yes. Doing what? Fixing a bride. Yes. Preparing a bride for the going away. Yes. Hallelujah. So if you are looking for the coming of the Lord, I am the coming of the Lord. Yes. That's true. That's true. Yes. If I want to know the coming of the Lord, you are the coming of the Lord. Yes. Brother Brennan, in the message, the rising of the sun, he says, he came in bright coming. Mm. So Christ is reincarnated in you. Yes. Christ walking on two feet. That's That's true. True. Christ going to work. Yeah. Christ behind the computer. Amen. Christ digging a hole. Yes. Christ coming to church. Amen. Christ singing in church. Amen. Christ preaching in church. Yes. And when the two omnipotents come together. Amen. 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 Go to number five. The prophet of God says, This is not a Pentecostal age. This is the latter day age. 
This is the bright age. This is the evening light. Mm. This is when Malachi 4 must be fulfilled mm. to follow God's pattern. This is Luke 17, 30 mm. to fulfill. Amen. Brother Brenham continues to emphasize that this is the bright age. We are not Pentecostals, yes. but we have been called a little higher into the eighth day. Right. Then I can say to you, this is a brand new day. Yes. This is the time where no organization mm. or denomination mm. will have a claim on you, but, but the revealed word of your day will have a claim on you. And he goes on to say, this is the evening light and Malachi 4 must be fulfilled. Mm. And I've got good news for you, it has been fulfilled. Yes. By God's grace, I want to parallel the fulfillment of Malachi 4 and the evening light mm. with the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. And it still brings the eighth day into it. Mm. Mark, Mark chapter 16 verse 1 and 2. And when the Sabbath was passed, mm. Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome mm. had bought sweet spices that they may come and anoint him. And very early in the morning, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. So the Bible says when the Sabbath was passed, mm. when the seventh day was passed, mm. meaning the new day is the resurrection day. Amen. So verse 2 says, very early in the morning, the first day of the week. Because remember, when you hit the eighth, yes. you go where? You go Amen. back to the first. Yes. So Amen. they crucified him. They mocked him. And they wanted to bury him. Mm. And when he was supposed to be buried, he never had a grave to be buried at. That's right. And Joseph, Amathia, had to borrow him the grave. Come on. Hallelujah. Because Jesus is always a borrower. That's true. Hallelujah. When he wanted to be born, he borrowed the womb of Mary. Amen. <laughs> it was what you call an immaculate conception. Amen. Took an egg and took a sperm, placed it in the womb of Mary to produce himself. Amen. Is it right? Yes. Now, when he was supposed to be buried, Joseph Amathia borrowed him the grave. Right. One day, they were in a ship. He did not have a pulpit to preach. Yes. He borrowed the pulpit of Simon. Mm. After he preached, he returned back the pulpit to Simon. Yes. And Brother Brenham in the message, perfect faith. He says, borrow him your faith and see what he can do to you. And after 72 hours, he rose from the dead. Yes. Then on the third day, which is also the eighth day, mm. the first day of the week, mm. he rose from the dead. Amen. Amen. Now, this is taboo to Pentecost. That's true. Right. That's true. He rose on the third day, but he also rose on the eighth day. Yes. 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 And when he rose from the day, one song writer writes and says, Then came a morning. Shadows vanished before their eyes. The stone was rolled away, for morning has come. That he has risen from the dead. Let me declare to you quickly this morning, there is an empty tomb in Jerusalem. Yes. Did you hear what I said? Yes. Our God is not dead, yes. but our God is alive. Yes. That's why the Bible says, He has risen from the dead. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. For He is Lord. Amen. And every knee shall bow. Yes. And every tongue confess yes. that He is Lord. Yes. Code number six, the prophet of God says, Now to the Mohammedans and their superstitions mm. and whatever it is, yet God in the universe proves that the Christian religion is the right is right because it's based on resurrection. Amen. Watch everything else, how it resurrects, his whole creation. Now, Brother Brennan says the Christian religion is the right religion because it is based on resurrection. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Muhammad died. Mm. Muhammad right. is still in the grave. Yeah. Amen. Buddha died. Where is Buddha? In the grave. Right. Mm. But my God, yes. called, descended, mm. put on flesh, mm. became a little lower than angels. Yeah. Brother Brennan, in another message, he says he limited himself. Mm. He put on flesh, mm. died on the cross of Calvary, mm. and after 72 hours, the grave could not contain him anymore. Yes. Yeah. And in the morning of the resurrection, there went rumors all around Jerusalem that he has risen. Yeah. Mm. But it was just rumors yes. that he has risen. But he did not appear to anyone. But in the evening time, mm -hmm. when he was on the road to Emmaus, mm -hmm. he joined two brothers. Mm -hmm. He fellowshiped with them for about seven miles, about seven church ages. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And these brothers did not know who he was. Mm -hmm. The Bible says their eyes were holding. Yes. Their eyes were shut mm -hmm. that they mustn't know who they are working with. Mm -hmm. And then he was telling them, 
They, 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 these guys were even asking him, are you the only stranger in Jerusalem? Don't you know what has happened? Yeah. Is that right? So in the evening time, after he walked with them for seven church ages, in the new day, which is the eighth day, he sat down with them and he took the bread. And when he took the bread, he broke the bread. Yes. And Brother Abraham says, the way he broke the bread, Amen. he says, their eyes yes. were opened. Yes. No, it was not this eyes that were opened. Yes. It was the eyes of understanding. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. It was the eyes of understanding that were opened. Yes. And may God this morning give us quickening power yes. to enlighten our eyes yes. that we can see the King of Glory. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. So in the morning was a rumor, but in the evening was the manifestation of the word. And remember, according to the previous quote we read, in the bright age, the evening light and Malachi 4 must be fulfilled. Yes. Quote number 7, Brother Brenham says, Now, this messenger of Malachi 4 and Revelation 10, 7 is going to do two things. One, according to Malachi 4, he will turn the hearts of the children to the fathers. Two, he will reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders in Revelation 10, which are the revelations contained in the seals. It will be this divinely revealed mystery truth that literally turn the heart of the children to the Pentecostal fathers. Exactly so. Now, the messenger of Malachi 4 is going to do two things. Amen. In one age. Yes. Two things in one age. Right. One, to turn our hearts to the faith of the Pentecostal fathers. Amen. Two, to reveal the mysteries of the seven thunders contained in the in Revelation 10, which are the revelation contained in the seals. Yes. Is that right? But remember, when we get back to our perfect tree, which is Jesus Christ, Hallelujah, which was resurrected on the third day. Two things happened in one day. The morning was a rumor. The evening was the manifestation of the way. Now, from here in the quotation, the morning of the ministry of Brother Brenham was the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And the evening time, there shall be light. Amen. The morning is the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Until you cannot read a message from 1947 to 1962 and never hear Brother Brenham emphasizing on the Holy Ghost. That's true. That's true, brother. But in 1963, then the ministry took a corner. It was now the opening of the way. That is why all those Pentecostals left him mm. when he started to preach That's true. Yes, yes, what was hidden yes. throughout the seven church ages. Because the Pentecostal wanted miracles and discernment. Yes. Yes. And that is why today the miracles and discernment will do them when God permits. Yes. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. I know it's hard for other people. Hallelujah. That is the truth. Amen. Your heart must be turned first before you can enjoy the revelation of the way. You must have the Holy Ghost first before you enjoy the seals, before you enjoy the thunders, before you can come to the ministry of the third pool. You must have the baptism of the Holy Ghost. And many times we jump stages and engulf ourselves with the mysteries without our hearts being turned, without being filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Let me declare it to you quickly, it is the Holy Ghost inside of you that will guide you and lead you into all truth. Remember, because God's order is that he seeks worshippers that can worship him in spirit and in truth. The baptism of the Holy Ghost first, then the truth. Because it is the Holy Ghost that will lead you into the revelation of the way. But many times, we run into mysteries and get ourselves confused. Right. We get the cart ahead of the horse. Amen. We need to get the horse ahead that it can pull the cart. Mm. We need the Holy Ghost ahead that it can take us into the depth of the way. Hallelujah. Notice, to the world he spake in parables and riddles. Mm. But to the people of the age day, the people of the bright age, he speaks plainly. Mm. Brother Brenham says here, I don't know if somebody has got a handkerchief, I think I forgot mine. Now, paragraph 64, in the Feast of the Trumpet, Brother Brenham says, Now, if I come with the message of Pentecost, I would be in the Laodicean church age. Can, can you read that with me? If I come with the message of Pentecost, I would be in the Laodicean church age. And it wouldn't be right. That's the reason why Wesley, praise the name of the Lord, could not take Luther's message. Luther was in one age, church age, and Wesley was in another church age. If Jesus would have come 
in with the message of Moses, it would have not worked. If Moses would have come with the message of Noah, it would have not worked. Yeah. Now, let, let, let us take this a minute. The, Noah was sent with a message of it's going to rain. Yes. Right. That was the message of Noah for 120 years. Yes. Noah was preaching one message for 120 years. It's yes. going to rain. Yes. Even if you try and backslide and come after a few years, you'll still find Noah preaching it's going to rain. And the dispensation of Noah, when it ended, mm. God brought a Moses. Mm. Moses did not preach, it's going to rain, because it was already rain. Right. So if Moses was to preach, it's going to rain, it was going to be irrelevant. That's true. Is it not? So the ministry of Moses was to deliver the children of Israel out of the hand of Pharaoh. Yes. And when the dispensation of Moses ended, there came a Joshua dispensation. Yes. Because Brother Brenham teaches us that redemption is in two parts. Yes. It is the coming out of and the going into. Yes. So Moses' ministry yes. takes you out. Yes. But don't start with Moses. Yes. Go beyond Moses yes. and come to the Joshua Commission. Yes. We don't clap our hands that you came out. Yes. We clap our hands that you go in. Yes. Your victory does not like in coming out. Yes. Your victory lies in going in. Yes. Hallelujah. Is it right? Yes, yes, sir. Then 2,000 years later, there came a John the Baptist. John the Baptist did not preach Noah's message, Moses' message, or Joshua's message. He was to introduce the first coming of the Messiah. Mm. And after John was done, there came a Paul, mm. the first Gentile mm. prophet, mm. to come and lay the foundation stone mm. in the morning time. Amen. And when Paul laid the foundation, Paul was the only one mm. who laid the foundation stone. That's true. It was Paul that told us, women must not preach. Yes. It's in the foundation. Yes. And there's two things that is needed in a building to be strong. Mm. It is the foundation yes. and the roof. Yes. Yes. So Paul had to lay the foundation. Hallelujah. And when he laid the foundation, he says, on this foundation, no other man mm. must lay on no other foundation mm. that is already laid, Hallelujah. which is Jesus Christ. Yeah, and in our day, there came a William Brennan. Mm. Not to lay the foundation stone, but to introduce the headstone. Yes. The headstone and the foundation stone is the same stone. Yes. It's different stone in different dispensations. Right. It is the foundation stone in the morning time. It is the headstone in the evening time. It is Jesus Christ in the morning time. It is Jesus Christ in the evening time. Hallelujah. And Brother Brennan Glenn says, if I come with the message of Pentecost, mm. I will be in the Laodicean church age. Mm. So God has always been pulling us out mm. into another age. Yeah, because a message of a previous age won't work today. And the problem with the people throughout the ages is that they lived in a clan mm. of a previous age. Yes. If you notice, Paul being the messenger, Brother Jude, he had to, to win the people first to Judaism teaching. That's true. Mm. Did you hear what I said? Because Peter was caught up in the circumcising the people first and before they become Christians. So they were taught, they were caught up in Jewish traditions and trying to bring Jewish traditions into the Christian faith. And Paul had to struggle with the, those things because they were living in a land of a previous age. Hallelujah. Notice it has been in every age. People will always live in a glare of a previous age. Right. And Brother Graham says, a glare is like a mirage. Right. A glare is not a reflection of light, but a glare is a diffraction of light. Right. And even today, people still live in a glare right. of a previous age. Amen. But God has pulled us out Amen. into a new age. Amen. And I am glad I can say I am one of them. Amen. 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 And the prophet of God says, Number nine says, let no man by his creed deceive you. Mm. You stay right straight in the promise of God and the word of God. Mm. And that word, if it's a word for this day, God vindicated so. If he doesn't, it's not the word of this day. Hallelujah. The word that fell on the day of Pentecost will not work this day. Amen. No, sir, mm. that was for Pentecost. Yes. This is for the bride, mm. going right. home of the bride. Mm. We've got something different. The Pentecost has represented that, but we are in the bride age. Amen. Let me declare to you quickly the church. The church age brings an end to the days of men mm. and the denominational systems. Mm. And we, we know a cry went out to say, come out of here, my people. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. And coming out of Laodicea, coming out of the darkest age of all the ages, 
And it was in the day when he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. Because in the previous age, he was using future tense. I am coming, I am coming, I am coming, I will come, I am coming. But in the Laodicean church age, he says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. But Brother Brennan was the messenger to the Laodicean church age, the flying eagle, to pull us out into the bright age. He did not come to make us stay in Pentecost. He did not make us stay in Laodicea. But the message that he had was to take us out into the eighth day. And if you notice, Jesus says to the Philadelphian church age, he says, I said before thee an open door. And to the Laodicean church age, he says, behold, I stand at the door. In Revelation 4, he says, after this, I saw a door. <laughs> Let me declare to you quickly that heaven is a spiritual dimension. It does not have doors like we have today. But we know that Jesus Christ himself is the door. And an open door means a full revelation. So it means that after the Laodicean, after the Laodicean church age, God grants us a full revelation of himself. This is the unveiling of God. We are shut in the Sakina glory with our husband. Yeah. We have seen his secret part. Yes. He has seen our secret part. Yeah. Yes. Do you know why Jacob could not reject Leah? Mm. It was because Leah saw the secret part. Right. Yes. And he could not divorce her. That's true. Amen. That's true. Amen. And now in 1946, Brother Brennan wanted to leave the ministry mm. and went into the woods mm. and hide himself in the cave. And when he was in the cave, he saw a light. Mm. And out of that light, he says, they stepped out a man, mm. 200 pounds, dark in complexion. Mm. And he says to him, fear not, William Bray. Amen. I come from the presence of God. Yes. I am here to interpret your misinterpreted life. Mm. And he says, as Moses was given two signs, yes. you will be given two signs. Mm. The first pool and the second pool. Right. Now, the first pool contacts the flesh. Yeah, amen. The second pool contacts the spirit. Mm. Yeah, With both the first pool and the second pool, many people followed him. Mm. But he had to come to a time of turning a corner. Right. And when he turned the corner, many people left. Yes. And in one message, he symbolizes the first pool Amen. with little birds. Yes. And the second pool with bigger birds. Mm. But the third pool, he connected with seven angels mm. coming from eternity, mm. which is an octave higher yes. for the bride. Mm. An octave in music, as I said many a time, is a note on the eighth degree. Mm. Is that right? Mm. So when Brother Brennan preached, Christ is the mystery of God reveals. Mm. When he gets to the end of the sermon, he sings a song. Mm. Take the name of Jesus with you, hope of earth and joy of heaven. But his emphasis was not on hope of earth, but on joy of heaven. Yes. And he says, church, look at the clock. Yes. It's two o'clock on the dot. Yes. The end of the second pool, mm -hmm. the third pool is at hand. Yes. Amen. He continues singing the same song. Coke number 10, Brother Ezra. He says, did you notice the spirit? Mm. Take the same song and picking it up an octave higher than that. The next pool is at hand. Amen. He says, did you notice the spirit? Pick up the same song and octave higher. Not the song leader. Not the musician. Not Brother Brandon. But the spirit. This is to tell us that we are no longer in the first pool. We are not in the second pool. We are no longer playing from a seventh major cause. But we are in an octave higher. And in the message songs that are in prison, he types the three pools with the seven mountain peaks. Mm -hmm. Amen. And he said, after the seventh peak, mm. there is no peak beyond that. Yes. He says, it goes in right into the continental divide. Mm. The continental divide meaning from the seventh we are going straight mm. into eternity again. Amen. This is to tell us that we are not denominational Laodicean church age members, yes. but we are the bright members picked up out of the seventh into the earth. Amen. The first pool, Brother Hillel, was thus sayeth the Lord. Amen. The second pool was thus sayeth the Lord. Yes. But the third pool was not thus sayeth the Lord, but Amen. I say. Yes. 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 Then Brother Brennan comes as the first wave sheep comes to the river. He finds the intestines of the fish outside the fish. Brother Brennan never laid hands on the fish. Brother Brennan says, little fishy, I give you back your life. He was in the woods. He's looking for squirrels. He says, 
I want the squirrel there. I want the squirrel there. And he shot the squirrel and he thought he was in a dream or a vision. But he says, but visions don't need. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he went to Sister Hetty Light's house to tell Sister Hetty what has happened in the woods. And what did Sister Hetty say? That is nothing but the truth. And Brother Branham says, Sister Hetty, you said the right thing. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There will come a time when God said, You have said the right amen. Yes, you have said the right hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Yes. Says, Sister Hetty, you can ask what you want. Hallelujah. Sister Hetty, what do you want? Yes. Then Brother Branham started to suggest to Sister Hetty. Yes. I love this story. Yes. He says, Sister Hetty, you, your sister is on a wheelchair. Yes. If you say now, she will come out of that wheelchair. Amen. He says, if you want a million dollars, yes. it will be right on your left. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes. Then Sister Hetty looked around and find the two boys standing at the door. Yes. And Sister Hetty said, I want the salvation of my boys. Amen. The power of the spoken word overrides the decision of the children. Yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Let me tell you, man, the power of the spoken word yes. will override yes. your boss's decision. Yes. 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 Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this lady says, I want the salvation of my boys. Yes. And Amen. immediately, the spoken word had an effect. Amen. It went to them, and they fell down. Hallelujah. One day, he was at the Colorado storm. Yes. He saw a blizzard coming. Mm -hmm. And at the Colorado, it was father and son. Yes. Father was God, son was William Brennan. Yes. Then father said to son, you speak to the storm. Yes. And the son says, me? He says, yes. yes. The power has changed. Yes. There, was, there, was, there, oh my, there was a transferring of glory yes. yes. from father to son. Yes. And the son said, storm, go back to where you come from. Yes. And the blizzards yes. went away. And that power is not gone. That power is here. What is a blizzard in your life? Let that blizzard right now go away. Amen. One day the sister was sick, having cancer, going for an operation. He said, before the doctors cut, let the tumor be gone. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Which parallels something that happened in Acts chapter 3. Those brothers came after the day of Pentecost, 10 days later, after the Logos descended in the upper room. And they walked and find a lame man at the gate called Beautiful. And they said, silver and gold, we don't have it. But such as I have, we give unto you. They never, they never laid hands on the lame man. They spoke the word. One day, Brother Brennan was going to preach somewhere, or rather pray for somebody. And what happened? There was a raging bull. That was there waiting for him to fight him and kill him. And Brother Bram says, Brother Ezra just says, Raging Bull, I am so sorry. I, I, I'm sorry that I'm coming on your way. But, 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 but please, I am just going to pray for somebody. If you can just relax. And nature. Obey. Hallelujah. I told them, uh, the, 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 the believers in Cape Town last week, I said, do you know that earth has got the ability and the mechanism to hear the spoken word? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. More, that is why the Bible says, if you say to this mountain, because mountain is part of earth. Hallelujah. When Moses came to the Red Sea, the Red Sea was part of earth. The tumor is part of earth. The pool is part of earth. Where is your problem today? If it's on earth, it's sorted out. Amen. Notice, if you follow the minutes, the scriptures, Joshua knew that the climax in Moses' ministry mm. was his starting point. Yes. Yes. So yes. Joshua knew that he is not going to start mm. where Moses started. Right. Or where Moses ended. Mm. Moses cried mm. at the Red Sea. Yes. But Joshua oh. never cried. Yes. Yes. Because the dispensation had changed. Yes. Yes. Right. So Moses, when he was at the Red Sea, yes. what happened? Moses wept. Yes. Until the God came down and said, 
Why cries thou unto me? Yes. Speak and go forward. Yes. But when Joshua came on the scene yes. in the time of crisis, yes. Joshua never murmured. Yes. Joshua never cried. Yes. Joshua never complained. Yes. He said, yes. Son, yes. stand still. Who yes. came over at you, Lord? Yes. And the truth yes. obeyed the power yes. of a man. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Yes. And Elijah. Started where Elijah ended. Amen. Elijah's last miracle yes. was Elisha's first miracle. Yes. Yes. And today, as the bride, Hallelujah. we don't go where the prophet started, yes. but we start where the prophet ended. Yes. The prophet started with prayer cards. Yes. <laughs> oh, Lord and oh God. Yes. We are not here to give you prayer cards. Yes, the time is over. Yes, this is the time to say, you are here. You are delivered. You are set free. Yes, this is what you want. Yes, the time of the spoken yes, word. Yes, the changing beat yes, of the symphony. Yes, we are in an octave high. Yes, and God gave Brother Brennan. A ministry that consisted of three pools. Yes. The first pool, the healing of the body. Amen. The second pool, the discernment. Yes. The third pool has a threefold. Mm. The ministry to the souls mm. that are in prison. Mm. The third, the second one was the opening of the way. Yes. But the last was the dynamic spoken way. Yes. Notice the second pool is greater than the first pool. Yes. The third pool is greater than the second and the first pool. Yes. And the third pool is greater than the first pool and the second pool. Mm. And our emphasis cannot be on the lesser pools. No, yes. sir. No, sir. But on the third pool. Yeah. And according to the music sheet, we start where Brother Brennan ended. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll be dancing to a church age bridge. Yeah. Whereas we have moved into the bright age. Yeah. You will be having a Pentecostal carrier. Yeah. Whereas we have come into the dynamic spoken way. Yeah. Where Brother Brennan ended is our starting point. Yeah. We have come up higher yes. to the opening of the way yeah. and the dynamic spoken way. Yeah. If you are looking for prayer cards, you are in the wrong place. That's true. Amen. That's true. If you are looking for discernment, you are in the wrong place. Yes. The word is the discernment today. Yes. Yes. Not a man Amen. standing here and telling you, I see you've got a headache. Yes. That's cheap stuff. That's true. Yes. 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 That causes confusion in a church. Yes. But what brings the reality and substance, it is the word. In the beginning was not the miracles, and the miracles was with God. But in the beginning was the word, and the word, is, the word will defeat Satan any time, anywhere, under any condition. Hallelujah! The church has been built up to speaking condition. You cannot tell me now to write a telegram. To Pastor Beckett in Cape Town mm. or to write a letter for him. Mm. No, today I just get into my email mm. yes. and in two in few seconds mm. he has got the message. Yes. Yes. I write you a message on WhatsApp. Mm. In a few minutes, it's a blue tick. I tell us we have read the message. Yes. But others are clever, they hide it. You don't know whether they've read it or not. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. And immediately you receive your note. It's a run. And that is why now, as I'm standing here, we don't have to lay hands on you and scream and pour oil on you. No, when, when you are there, yes. seated there, yes. Brother Graham says, you can create an atmosphere. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. An amateur God yes. can create yes. with a positive attitude. Yes. And whatever you want yes. will come to you. Yes. Hallelujah. And Brother Graham says, I believe there's a church on its road tonight. Mm. A power of the living God that men will speak the word here and there and it will flesh like lightning. And the church is coming out, not as a psychologist, not some of this put on make believe, but a real true genuine anointed Holy Ghost called our church. And I believe I'm looking at that church this morning. Speak the word and it will flesh like lightning. Let me tell you, saints, don't be quiet this morning. Amen. Amen. When you are quiet, mm. you receive nothing. Yes. Yes. Speak the word, yes. and God will back it up. Yes. Speak the word, believe what you have spoken, yes. and move forward. Yes. Don't speak the word and look back. Yes. Speak the word, yes. and move forward. Yes. Amen. Praise 
Yes, if a farmer plants a seed, mm. he plants a seed and leave it there. Yes, he doesn't come tomorrow and dig it out and find out is, is, the, is, the, is the seed growing. Mm. No, no, no. You plant it and you move on. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. And in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse 1 mm. and 7, to everything there is a season, yes. a time to every purpose under the heaven, mm. a time to rent mm. and a time to sow, yes. a time to keep silence mm. and a time to speak. Yes. Where are we now as the bride? In the time to speak. Yes. Yeah. And if it is time to speak, we don't want a continuation of your silence. Yeah. Mm. 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 Did you know that everything today in life is centered around speech? Yes. If you want to eat, go tell us. Right. You're hungry. We'll Amen. Eat food. Yes. Amen. If you're tired, you yes. say I'm tired, mm. and we allow you to go and rest. Mm. Hallelujah. And in the natural life, if the natural life revolves around speech, the natural type is the spiritual, yes. regardless. Yes. When you want something from God, you will speak. Yes. Amen. Isaiah chapter 50 verse 4. The Lord has given me the tongue of the learned that I should know how to speak a word in season. To him that is weary. He wakeneth morning by morning. He wakeneth my ear as the learned. A tongue of the learned. Mm. What is the tongue of the learned? Mm. The tongue that has been sprinkled by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. A tongue that has tasted that the Lord is good. A Amen. tongue that understands the mysteries of God. That I should know how to speak the word in season to him that is weary. But before you speak the word to him that is weary, help yourself. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Use that tongue to change your situation. Amen. Use that tongue to change your financial crisis. Amen. Use that tongue to restore your family back into the fire. Use your tongue Amen. to bring back the yes. people that have been Amen. leaving the message yes. and bring them back to the yes. faith. Amen. Use your tongue. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew 12, 37. For by thy weight thou shalt be justified and by thy words thou shalt be condemned why condemn yourself if you can justify yourself right mm. don't speak fear don't speak doubt don't no. speak what the doctors have said mm. regardless of your situation mm. looks like speak the word and go forward yes. Let me tell you, brother, the word will depress your depression. Yes. The word will frustrate your frustration. Yes. The word will defeat Satan. Yes. Anytime. Yes. Anywhere. Yes. Under any condition. Yes. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 23. A man has joy by the answer of his mouth. A word spoken in due season. How good is it? Oh, Lord. Amen. Amen. If you are sad this morning, the problem is your mouth. Yes. <laughs> yes. If you are depressed, the problem is your mouth. Amen. Your joy comes Amen. by the answer yes. of your mouth. Yes. Regardless of what you're going through or what you have left at home, your tongue, yes. your tongue, yes. this can change everything. Yes. Amen. You can have a jubilee right. and a joy Amen. Monday to Monday. Yes. Right. Because of what you say. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Right. Help us now. And That's you can true. have depression yeah. Monday to Monday right. by what you say. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know, until, until believers claim things, brother, look, that right. they don't belong to them. Mm. Oh, my sugar diabetes. Yeah. <laughs> my high blood pressure. Right. My cancer. Yeah. Brother Brenham says, if the postman comes to your doorstep mm. with a box of rattlesnakes. Mm. He says, if that postman gives you to you mm. and say, here, sir, you need to sign here. Mm. This parcel belongs to you. Yes. He says, you've got a right yes. to yes. tell that man. He yes. says, I don't take this kind of money. Yes. Yes. And he says, the postman knows better yes. to take back the box of rattlesnakes yes. back to the post office. Yes. <laughs> and today, what am I saying? With your tongue, yes. you can reverse yes. your cancer. You can reverse yes. your high blood pressure. Yes. You can reverse yes. your condition. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. A man has joy yes. by the answer of his mouth. Yes. Say it the way you want. Yes. Mm. 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 I, uh, now, now this morning, I want us to be message believers. Yes. 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 You, you say it the way Hallelujah. you want. Yes. 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 
That's true. You see, we as believers, Amen. we have been taught some how to say when we ask God for good things, right. it looks like we are unchristianizing ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. But Brother Branham says, ask God for big things. Right. Yes. 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 Amen. Now, uh, uh, if you want a bicycle, ask a bicycle. Amen. And ask the, the type of bicycle. Oh. Oh. Amen. Yes. And you will ride a bicycle from Station Guve to Brook Lane on Sundays. <laughs> it's fine because that is what you ask. Yes. But if I ask for my C63 AMG, leave me alone. Amen. Yes. Amen. 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 You, see, you see now you are doubting. Huh? <laughs> Amen. That is why you are where you are at. Yes. Because yes. you don't ask God for big things. Yes. Yes. Brother Benham says there is untapped resources yes. that are left for the believers. Yes. Do you know even that million dollar brother Ezra that brother Brennan suggested to sister Hetty right? Is it still there? Yes. 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 That million dollar is still there. It is waiting for you. Yes. 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 But, 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 but you are too humble. Yes. 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 Speak it the way you yes. want. Yes. Hallelujah. In China they say Taura. Yeah. In Africa they say Brat. Yeah. In my language they say Bulela. Yeah. The way you want it to be. Yeah. And God will bring elements together yeah. and bring it to your doors. Yeah. Hallelujah. And this is great. Amen. 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 Spread your wings yeah. and rejoice this morning. Hallelujah. Come up either where all things are possible. To them that believe. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 21. Death and life are in the power of what? In the power of and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Where, you, where is your fruit coming from, Sister Francina? The tongue. Hallelujah. So you can kill yourself by the tongue. You can make yourself alive by the tongue. Life and death is between the upper jaw and the lower jaw. If you say in your life, I will never sleep in church again, then God will grant it to you. If you say I will never be formal again, mm. I will clap my hands, I will rejoice to the way. Amen. God will grant it to you. Yes. Yes. You can speak your own revival. Yes. You see, people say church is boring. No, church, church is not boring. You are boring. Amen. Let, let me say that again. Church is not boring. You are boring. Because you create an atmosphere with your tongue that is boring. And you want to say to us, church is boring. It's not boring, it's you. Come, come, let Brother Ezra usually say, come here with your lick of fire, yeah. and the pillar of fire will come down. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a revival here. Yeah. Let's have a revival this morning. Yeah. You speak your own revival. Yeah. 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 Glory to God. Yeah. We can have a revival every service, yeah. regardless of who is preaching. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't matter who is preaching. Yeah. Whether it's a teacher, whether it's an evangelist, yeah. whether it's your pastor, yeah. we can have a revival. Yeah. The special speaker is not a visiting minister. Yeah. The, the special speaker is the Holy Ghost. Yeah. 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 When I come to church, I say, the joy of the Lord Amen. is my strength. Yeah. You'll be like David. Yes. I was glad yes. when they said unto me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you see yourself That's in the blanket on a Sunday morning, right? there's a problem with you. Brother Brennan, in another message, he says Sunday is not for shopping, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. for fishing, yeah. Yeah. for doing extramural activities. Yeah. Sunday is for us coming to church. Yes. Yeah. It's a resurrection morning. Yeah. And you know what Christians have done? Mm. They would rather postpone the work on Saturday mm. and take a drop on Sunday. Mm. Yeah. When we are casting demons here, mm. They go straight to you. <laughs> and you will find that there is a pole waiting. And we are casting demons. That pole is just waiting for you. Right? <laughs> when we cast the demons, the demons go out here. They go straight to that pole. The pole comes straight to your head. Right. And you come here and bother us with your prayer request. Amen. 
But what is the problem? You are missing your post of duty. Hallelujah. No one will miss church after this. Hallelujah. Sorry, Satan. Amen. Hallelujah. Brother Brennan says in code number 12. So when a spirit born filled man in faith takes that word into his heart and places it upon oh, his lips. Amen. Why? That is the same as deity speaking. So when it is it is no longer you now. When you take the word mm. and put it upon your lips, mm. it is no longer you speaking, but it is God mm. speaking in you. Hallelujah. Let me tell you that greater is he that is in you Amen. than the one that is in your situation. Amen. Amen. Greater is he that is in you than the one that is in your finances. Yes. Greater is he that is in you than the one that is in your children and your family. Amen. When you speak, it's him inside of you. Amen. John chapter 14 verse 20. And at the day he shall know that I am in my Father, Amen. and he in me, and I in you. And I believe this is the day where he speaks through us. Yes. That no mountain will stand before us. Yes. No disease. Yes. No. Yes. Read my lips. Yes. No disease. Yes. Yes. Will stand before us. Yes. No problem will stand before us. Yes. You know, problems are to make us stronger. Yes. Yes. Sicknesses are to make us believe that he is still Jehovah. Yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Brother Abraham says, sickness is not a curse, but it's a blessing. Yes. Yes. That we can come back and justify that, oh, mm -hmm. yes. oh God yes. is still on the throne. Yes. Hallelujah. What is it that you want? Amen. You speak the word. Yes. Amen. If you don't want to speak the word, Forever hold your peace. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, it was once asked to Queen Esther. Say, Esther, what do you want? Make a decree. What is it that you want? Amen. I want to say to the bride tonight, what is it that you want? Hallelujah. Don't be perturbed this morning. Don't be vague. Don't, don't go this way, that, and the other. Tell God exactly yes, what, what you want. want. Yes. I believe this service will bring testimonies. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you doubt it, Amen. I have already spoken it on your yes. own. And my speech yes. will be more powerful yes. than your own doubt. Yes. Did you know, Brother Hillary, that we are going to judge yes. Robert Mugabe? Yes. Yes. We are going to judge yes. Robert Trump. We are going to judge Hillary Clinton. Yes. We are going to judge Jacob Zuma and Cyril Ramaphosa and yes. Julius Malema. Yes. But before we judge all those guys, let's judge your sickness. Yes. Let's judge your condition. Yes. Let's judge your finances. Yes. Let's judge anything that yes. comes you this morning. Yes. Brother Brennan says, don't fear, O bride. Yes. Don't fear, little flock. Yes. All that I am, you are heir to yes. yes. All my power yes. is yours. Yes. Yes. Church, are you listening to this? Yes. All my power yes. is yours. Yes. My omnipotence is yours as I stand in your midst. I have not come to bring you fear and failure. Yes. That thing that you think you are going to fail, you are not going to fail. Yes. But love and courage and ability, yes. all power is given unto me and it is yours to use. Amen. You speak the word and I will perform it. Yes. That's my covenant. It can never fail. Amen. Your duty it is not to perform. No. Your duty is to speak and he Hallelujah. will perform. Hallelujah. Now, how many of you this morning Hallelujah. with our heads bowed as you pray soft, my brother. How many of you this morning have got a need? Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You've got a desire. Amen. Don't look around. Yes, Lord. If you've got a desire, just say, it's me. I'm not going to lay hands on this. The word has been spoken. Hallelujah. If you've got a desire right now, God sees that hand that has been raised. God sees your desires. God sees your condition. God sees exactly what you want. 
If you really mean it from the bottom of your heart, that Lord grant my heart's desire, just stand on your feet. Don't look around, just stand on your feet and say, it's me, it's me only. Standing in the middle of prayer. Lord, I am speaking my condition. You can change anything this morning. Yes. Anything. Because the Bible says all things are possible to them that believe by the power of your tongue. Wherever you are, that desire, start speaking it now. Start speaking it and thanking God for what he has already done. The presence of the Lord is in this place. God is moving, dropping parcels at your seat. Recognize the presence of Elohim. Start creating an atmosphere around you with your hands raised and say, Lord, I thank you for what you have already done for me this morning. The presence of Jehovah is here. El Shaddai is here. Ruach Elohim is here brooding in our midst. Let's recognize his presence. God is here. God is moving from bench to bench. Let us create an atmosphere that an amateur God can create with a positive attitude. Hey. You speak the word and he will perform it this morning. Let me say to you, church of the living God, he is still the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. That scripture is the theme of our campaign. He will never fail us. He will never leave us down. But this morning he said, I will bring you a little up. I don't know what you're going through in your family. I don't know what you're going through in your finances, in your workplace. But God is brooding in the building today. From tomorrow, walk with your chest out, knowing that Elohim is backing you up. Don't condemn yourself right now, but justify yourself. God has given us the tongue of the land to speak a word in due season. Let us worship the Lord. Everybody, let's thank God in our own way. Father, we say thank you for the ministry of the third pool that we can come together like this and give you praise and give you all thank you oh God in the manner that has spoken to us to know that when we speak it is like dear to speak we speak a revival in this place we speak health in this place we speak good things in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ those that are sick my God they will never ever be sick again. May you touch them for the glory of God. May you prove yourself one more time that you are still a healer. May you prove yourself one more time that you are still Jehovah Rapha. To those that are needy, oh God, I speak the cruise of oil in their house. I speak a barrel of millimil in their house. May you provide, oh God, where no man can provide. I still believe that the power that was still in the services of Brother Brennan, that power is here this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may you forgive us, Lord, for all our sins and our trespasses. May you have mercy on us. May you take everything under the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. For we know that everything that is under the blood is precious and glorious. Be with us today. We thank you for what you have already done. We thank you for healing us. We thank you for providing for us. We thank you for doing the miraculous in our lives today. We just want to say thank you. You are our Father. You are our El Shaddai. You are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You are the King of Kings. You are the Lord of Lords. We love you today. We worship you in beauty of holiness. Thou art the great God. We love you. We appreciate you. In Jesus' name. Oh, say we are Hallelujah. Let's sing it from the bottom of our heart. for the last 
us tonight. Let's all raise our hands. Oh, Savior,